Hello everyone and welcome to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install Melissa's doors in Minecraft 1.12.2. Before we jump into the video, I want to remind you that it is brought to you by Game Servers. You can go to thebreakdown.xyz slash mcservers. That is the first link down below to get an awesome 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just $1 per month. You're not going to find a better deal out there. Go check it out. That's the first link down below. Thebreakdown.xyz slash mcserver. Now, how do you get Melissa's doors installed. Well, before we can go here and download this, we need to go to the breakdown.xyz slash forge. That's going to be the second link down below, and it will take you here where you can scroll down until you see the big green download forge button. Click on that button, and it will take you off to a minecraftforge.net where we want to select the version of forge we're installing. Now, this is a 1.12.2 tutorial, so 1.12.2 is already selected for us. We're good. If you're installing it for another version, just find it on the side over here and click on it. But once you've found your version, go ahead, make sure it's the version right here. I've had it play some tricks on me before. And then under download latest, just click on installer right there. It will then take us off to add focus where you then want to click nothing on this page. Do not click anything on this page until the red skip button shows up up here and then click that red skip button in the top right. It will then download Forge, but you want to keep the file. It's been downloaded by millions of people, guys, so I promise it is safe. And uh, yeah, Forge is downloaded. Now we can close out of Add Focus, and we needed to download Melissa's Doors. You can go to the third link down below to find this. Once you're on this page, you want to go over here to Files. You then want to find the version you want. In this case, we want 1.12.2 right there. So we want to click the Download button right there, that little bitty download button. We want to keep this. It's been downloaded by 89,000 people. Now we want to jump over here to Melissa's Core. This is the fourth link down below, and you need this for Melissa's Doors to work. Once you're on the Melissa's Core download page here, we want to click on Files yet again, find, yet again, the game version we want, which in this case is 1.12.2 right there, and click on the download button right next to it on the same line. Keep this file. It's been downloaded by 82,000 people, and now we can minimize our browser to find three things downloaded. One is Forge, and two is Melissa's Doors and Melissa's Core. Yours might have went to your downloads folder. You can go there and find those, but we want to start off with Forge. Right click on it, then you want to go to open with Java TM Platform SC Binary, and then open up this handy dandy mod installer, where you want to click on install client and click OK. It'll then download some things, do some stuff, and woohoo, successfully installed client profile Forge. You can click OK and drag this to the side for now. You'll be able to delete it once you open up Minecraft and close out of it again. But nevertheless, let's get Melissa's doors and Melissa's core installed. To do that, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. That's going to open up the run program. You then want to type percent app data percent percent app data percent and then click ok it's then going to open up the roaming folder here then we want to locate dot minecraft in there you should have a mods folder but nick you don't have a mods folder what do you do well just create one no big deal right click create a new folder and title it mods mods all lowercase exactly like that. You then want to open up your newly created mods folder and drag both Melissa's core and Melissa's doors into it. Boom. There you go. It's as simple as that. And then delete them off your desktop and I'll meet you guys in the Minecraft launcher. Once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure we're selecting Forge to play the game. To do this, simply hit the green arrow next to the play button here and then click on Forge. And you should be able to click play. But if you have any issues, don't worry. Come back to the Minecraft launcher here. Click on launch options up here. Then find the the Forge profile. Click on that and then click the drop down menu next to versions. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're probably going to have multiple Forge versions. Click on the one that is the most recent. In this case, dot two, six, two, four. Say, for example, we also had version 1600, right? You would click on dot two, six, two, four over version 1600 because two, six, two, four is higher number and that's a more recent version. Click on that, click save, go back over here and confirm yet again that the Forge profile is selected and click play. It will now launch Minecraft 1.12.2 with Melissa's doors installed. It really is that easy, guys. I'll meet you on the Minecraft main menu. Once you're on the Minecraft main menu, it's really easy to see if Melissa's doors is installed. Just click on the mods button right there, scroll down, and you should have Melissa's core and Melissa's doors right there. We can also jump into uh, Minecraft single player. It's going to give me an error. That's fine. That's just where I installed a previous mod. 
I've uninstalled it and now all the stuff's gone. But if we load in here, we can uh, go into creative and see Melissa's doors and all the awesome doors, gates, trap doors, etc. that it adds to the game. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome Minecraft videos every single week. I'm Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out, guys. Peace.